31, I had a question coming out of section 3.6, number 41. And this is where we were told a machinist must produce a bearing that is within 0.1 inches of the correct diameter. So let me just take a moment and write that down. So you must be within 0.1 inches of a five inch diameter. So if you're making these bearings, right, and the, the bearings are supposed to be five inches um, in, in diameter, you don't want the bearing to be too small or too big, right? Because then it won't fit into the part the way it's supposed to. So you got to think like, if I want this diameter, and I really want it to be, that's my perfect diameter, right? Five inches long, but there's a little bit of room for error. I could maybe go an extra 0.01 inches on this side and maybe an extra 0.01 inches on that side. And then anything larger let me change color here. Larger than this upper bound or lower than this upper bound. It's just not going to work with these bearings. So this distance that I can travel, this extra, this wiggle room, if you will, is this 0.1 inches. So that's how much distance I can be off. And that's going to be what the right side of our inequality is equal to. And I can only be 0.01 inches off from, and let me change colors here, from 5 inches. So as long as my bearing that I make is less than 0.01 inches away from 5 inches, I'm good to go. And how we represent that distance is we say like X, oh, I have the wrong color, excuse me. Let me turn this back to purple. All right, so we're saying X is the diameter of the bearing. So the diameter of my bearing, if I subtract 5 from it, right, it's got to be less than 0.01 inches away from 5. So this is where we're centered. Right, and this is our distance from that center. So again, in a perfect world, right? In a perfect world, let me, I'm gonna go back and change colors one more time. In a perfect world, X would equal five, right? I'd make five inch bearings each time. And then you could see five minus five would be zero. That would be perfect, no error. But if my bearing was 5.01, I'm still within 0.01, right? If my bearing was 4.99, I'm still within 0.01 in terms of absolute value. So the lowest I could get, if I'm going through here, I could get from 4.99 to 5.01. I don't have a ton of wiggle room because we want our bearings to fit. So that's how you take that, that word, um, that expression, and turn it into a, uh, a math inequality. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.